Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, we're gonna be checking out and showing you how to install the Roadmaster Toad Vehicle Battery Charge Line Kit. So before we show you actually how to install this, why don't we kind of cover some of our bases and talk about what it's gonna do for you and how it's gonna work and things of that nature. So the whole point of a battery charge line kit is to keep the battery in your Jeep topped off whenever you're towing it behind your motorhome. Now, the reason that you need to do that is because of essentially the braking system, the supplemental braking system. What that's gonna do uh, is draw power from your Jeep's battery every time it's activated. And that's where it gets its power from, is your 12 volt battery. So what can happen um, if you're flat towing down the road for, for quite some time, you know, slowly but surely, you're draining your Jeep's battery over time. And that's the problem the charge line is gonna solve. So this is gonna use power from your motorhome's um, charging system, and it's going to send some of that power into the battery to keep it maintained more or less, or uh, kind of similar to like a trickle charger, if you guys are familiar with that. And so what that's gonna ensure is that your braking system has enough power to operate the way it should and not to mention keep that battery topped off so whenever you do get to your campsite or wherever it is you're trying to go and you get all unhooked you're gonna have the confidence knowing that when you turn the key or push the button that the jeep's actually gonna start and get you get you going where you need to go um, and you know that can really that can really uh, prevent a lot of headaches um, that could potentially happen you know, we've heard it over time and time again, where people go to unhook, the battery's dead, and it never fails. It's always dark or raining or, you know, an inconvenient time when that happens. And then you're dealing with trying to get your jump box out and crossing your fingers that that's charged up or getting your jumper cables out and just having to deal with that whole mess. So putting in a little bit of extra time, getting this set up can really, uh, really prevent a lot of those headaches. So how it's actually gonna work is really simple. So it's gonna take power from your motorhome seven way. It's gonna come up through this wire, through this circuit breaker, which is gonna uh, keep everything protected. If there's a short or something, the breaker will trip and prevent any, anything uh, else from happening. But it'll go through there and then simply just kind of bolt right to the positive battery terminal there on, uh, on your battery. Now with that said, for this to work properly, you have to have a battery that's in good condition. You know, this isn't gonna bring a battery back from the dead, or if it's on the verge of going bad, it has a, a bad cell or something like that, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna be able to do its job. So for this to work properly, you are gonna have to have a battery uh, that's in good condition to start with. We do get a lot of questions asking if, you know, let's say <clears throat> if you were to leave this hooked up overnight or something without the motorhome running, is it going to drain the motorhome's batteries? And the answer is no. So this isn't gonna be stealing power, more or less, from your motorhome's batteries um, if it's just hooked up. It's, it's really only going to utilize that power when your motorhome is running. With that said, um, you know, compared to some of the other ones available, um, they're all gonna do a pretty good job. One has a slight advantage, at least in my opinion, that's the Demco one. It uses a fuse. Um, so it's circuit protected, but it also uses what's called a diode. And so a diode, uh, what that does is it only lets current flow one way. So it's only gonna let current flow from the front here into the battery. And a lot of times what can happen um, with your six way round connector plug, um, where this charge line gets hooked into, a lot of times you get corrosion thing and, and stuff like that inside of that plug and that can cause some issues and having a, a 12 volt power at the plug doesn't help with that by any means. So the Demco one, what that does, since it has that diode, is it's not gonna let your car's battery power flow to the plug, all right, if that makes sense. So you're not gonna have a hot lead there and that can kind of help protect um, or prevent the corrosion um, at the back of your six-way connector. So at the end of the day, um, you know, whether you go with this charge line kit or a different one, they're all gonna get the job done. And it's something that 
I always recommend not only for Jeeps that are being flat towed, but for every vehicle in general. It's just a cheap insurance policy to make sure that everything is powered up the way it should. Now, as far as the installation goes, really not bad at all. I mean, anyone should be able to do this. You mount up the breaker, run a wire to the front of your Jeep and one to the battery. So it shouldn't hardly take you any time, but uh, why don't we go ahead and do that together now. To begin our installation, to get our charge line installed, we're gonna be here at the front of our Jeep and we need to work with our six way round connector. So I have that undone and I took the wire from our charge line and just ran it through the rubber grommet there. And this is gonna get connected to that center post on our six way round connector. Before we do that though, we do need to strip back the insulation to expose the bare wire underneath. So I'll give that a good twist to help ensure that we have a good connection. Then with these, they're just set screws, so you're gonna back that out with a small Phillips screwdriver. Put the charge line into it. Actually, I'm gonna trim off a little bit more of this. Looks like it's a little too long. That'll help get it completely seated. That'll work. So we'll hold it in there. And tighten this down and I do suggest applying some dielectric grease and sealant uh, to the back of this plug just to help keep everything sealed up but what I like to do is wait till the very end when I have my whole flat toe install complete that way if we have to make a repair or check something out we're not dealing with all that so for now we'll put on our rubber boot and get this resecured to our bracket now that we have this tightened down, we can start to route our wire up into the engine compartment. That way we can um, hook it up to our breaker and our battery. So what I've done is started to just push it up through this opening here. It's gonna be tricky to see, but it is doable. And uh, I'm gonna go up top, kind of pull out the slack here. Now in the engine compartment, our wiring comes up through here and um, what I did was mount up our circuit breaker to this piece of metal here so be careful the there's some lines behind there that are pretty close um, so be careful when you're drilling into this you obviously don't want to hit them but I just secured this using the self-tapping screws took our wire and cut it to length so I stripped that insulation back we're going to take a small ring terminal. We'll slide that over the bare end of the wire. Crimp it down. And then this is going to go over the gold post. So carefully take this nut off. These things have, it seem like they always just come flying off there and then you lose them. So. Careful while you're doing that. That is going to go over the gold post. We'll take our nut. So once you have that finger tight, come back with a 3 8 socket and snug it up. We'll take off the silver post nut. And what I've done is I already pre-made this wire. So a little bit of wire that I had left over that we had cut off the existing red one. One side I crimped on a small ring terminal. The other side I crimped on the large ring terminal. And what we're gonna do, small terminal is gonna go to the silver post, just like the other one. So we'll get that tightened on down. And then the larger ring terminal is gonna go to our positive battery. So if you move that cover out of the way, 
We have one post there that no wires are going to, so I'm gonna utilize that. So I'll remove the nut of the 12 millimeter socket. Put the ring terminal over it. And just simply just tighten it back down. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Roadmaster Towed Vehicle Battery Charge On Kit on our 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited.